Happy New Year, everybody. Hope you're all well. Uh, I am. It's a bit of a strange day today. It's the 2nd of January. I actually thought it'd be everyone back at work. I always say pick me days quite well, but it seems to be like another Sunday. So I'm out in the high peak. I'm going to go out for a walk. I'm out late because I've just got all the bloody Christmas decorations up in the loft where they belong. Uh, I must admit, I'm not a massive fan of Christmas. Glad it's out of the way. So, so, so it'd be miserable, but I'm not. Anyway, it's January. It's a lovely day today. It's quarter to two, so I'm a bit late today getting out and about, but um, get everything I need in the van. So I'm going to go out for a bit of a walk. I forgot my main camera, so everything's going to be handheld. And uh, yeah, just see what becomes and see where I lay my head tonight. So uh, stick with me. We just got my park up. Uh, I'm not going to tell you exactly where I am. Uh, I'm in the van and I've been waiting to get out of tonight for quite a while. So uh, I'll be looking forward just to getting out and spending the night in the van. Anyway, it's about 10 past two. I'm going to get out uh, and just quick skirt around where I am. So walking around a basic a reservoir in the Peak District. And I'll show you where basically I'm parked up. Yeah, we've got a few hours of daylight left. There's around parked up. Lovely spot. Kind of out of the way. I can hear a couple of voices. I think there's people over the way just been out for a walk. But again, it is another Sunday, isn't it, really? But this spot around here is always pretty quiet. But if you go further over into the peaks, the popular spots, and, uh, it's it's busy. Yes, look at this. Someone's dumped the fridge freezer. Oh, great, eh? Anyway. So I'm just going to follow this path up and round and hopefully all back up and round there. He says. Tell you what, it's a bit chilly today. Uh, I was out yesterday, me and Yvonne. We went for a good walk and a meal out around uh, Lady Bower Reservoir. Good five miles, something like that. Uh, and then uh, it was a nice seven, eight degrees, but today's about three. You know, it's a difference. Or well, maybe I'm still like kind of uh, sat on the beach in Egypt from uh, the other week. So I'll be back before Christmas. Oh, oh yeah, a bit chilly. I treat myself as well. I'll zoom in. Christmas punch myself. A Garmin Tactic 7 Pro. So I'm just using it in a minute just to track where I'm going. But uh, when we get back to the van, I'll show you how it works. But um, my good old Casio G-Shock give up the ghost. Time for a bit of exploring. I know that way takes me up and up right round. So there's no public access, but gates wide open. Hmm. Let's just go and have a look, shall we? We're just on the mobile handheld. I forgot my camera. I didn't really want, wasn't going to really make a video today, if I'm honest. But now, just at the back of the reservoir. See what's along the this pathway. Always looking for possible wild camping spots, as ever. Shouldn't really be along here, really, but you know, the opportunity is too great. Not exactly going to fall in over the edge, Emma. Let's be honest. So I'm going to walk along uh, the edge. Clothing I'm wearing, if you look at the colour, they kind of blend in a bit, don't they? Well, nobody's walked along here for a long while. There's no footsteps whatsoever. This would make a pretty good wild camping spot. Looks like someone's already used it. There's been a fire pit there. Probably when you've been fishing, I guess. Just a short walk today, folks. I'm going to get chucked on, I think, in a minute if I don't get back to the van. So, uh, yeah. I'm having my exercise for the day, putting all them decks up, up and down. Oh, done about 10 flights of stairs. And uh, how many steps? Well, 
about ten th about five six thousand steps already today anyway with everything so uh that's my excuse did thirteen thousand yesterday and ten thousand the day before so i'm trying to get the christmas christmas off but i don't want to get absolutely drenched i've not got my waterproof pants well i've said it before on previous wild camping trips but well, it's not wild camping, is it really? I'm in the van. I'm camping in the van. I'm not at a campsite. I'm off the road. In a bit, it's going to go dark. So, if you look at the colour of my van, that's why I got that colour van. Because it blends in. Now, you got to be aware of your surroundings when you do. Not really, but at the end of the day, I'm in a lot of van. But, I always like to check out things in the daylight. So we've got the road, I'm going to hear the road at the side, coming down and going up. If anyone drives up here, what am I going to hear? The splashing underneath the wheels. The path I just walked up was a gate. There's a little car park over there, so people might come fishing. You're not going to get locked in. So it's a nice quiet area. And uh, I'm going to enjoy it. So I'm just going to walk up the lane and have a look from that direction. I don't know whether you can see it, I'll just zoom in. It's nearly going to be a full moon tonight. So with a bit of luck tonight, we should get some stars. Wish I brought me the camera now. Uh, nearly a full moon. So there's a silver Skoda over there. Just lost a little bit out walking. They'll probably be back soon. There's a couple. Just been out hiking. See over there? They're going as well. It to Sun's gonna do is go down in about half an hour. <clears throat> so just been out doing a bit of wrecking. I always do that. Uh after previous experiences of not picking the best spots. You live and learn, don't you? Uh so I've just been checking the weather where I am. Uh it's give a clear night until 6 a.m. So without going into too much detail, um this is a Garmin Tactic 7 Pro and uh, the watch face are downloaded so it gives you all the information i want times out the light so date how many steps i've done today not that many really for looking at it gives the heart rate when it's on your wrist it even gives you kind of your your rest what you've been doing battery level it is solar powered one this one and it's got a sapphire uh, face anti-scratch uh what height we're on, if we just zoom in, so that's that 1071 altimeter. Got alarm clock set, it gives out a Bluetooth signal. Time's 1551. If you turn it, then you get your seconds instantly. Uh, so yeah, it's showing there. There's no rain at the minute. And it goes dark. It's 1602 or sunset. And currently, it's four degrees outside. Inside, let's have a look. We're 12 degrees, so I'm going to put a bit of heat on in a minute and get warmed up. And uh, gonna have a nice brew, I think, and uh, something to eat. So, I'm going to catch in a bit, I think, before it gets too dark. So I'm just going to have a pork pie. I'm not eating obviously, one or two, that's it. Just go ahead. A juice drinks just hydrating a bit. So we've soon got 10 past five. So Yvonne bought me an iPad. I had an iPad before. So I thought rather than just a phone, uh, I can watch. I've got some films downloaded. Um I'm gonna watch Glorious Bastards. And maybe in the tall grass and then Event Horizon. I don't know, just uh, just random really. So no snack now, I'm going to eat later, proper main meal. Uh, I'm going to use some homemade minced chilli. And I'm going to have, um, try this, some of this Idahoan perfect mash with my chilli. Uh, oh, another present I always get every year for Christmas off Yvonne is good old uh, Viz. I love Viz. It's one of my favourite things to read. Um, and then if you're not had the comics for 
regular then uh, <laughs> it's just hilarious and some of the stuff you it's all bullshit and all crap and everything but it's just one of them stupid reads so i'm not going to film too much tonight i don't think i'm just going to settle down in my van and just chill out as i say never really intended to um to make a, a film tonight anyway if, if i'm honest so so uh, i might bring you back when i'm uh, cooking my tea up Let's see what the temperature's saying, shall we? 15 degrees. Not bad, quite cosy. So, I'm having my uh, chilli mince, which is not really like savoury mince, really. And this uh, Idaho mashed potato. Save on washing up, eat it out of the pan, watch it in my movie. Cup of tea and a nice little one of these goo, I think it's salted caramel desserts. Easy washing up in a bit. So I'm going to catch you guys in the morning. Cheese on toast for breakfast. <coughs> and a brew. Well, I had a great night last night. Slept like an absolute log which is always good but uh so you've just seen me some nice bit of cheese on toast so i just had that i just tidying up a bit uh and had the roof up to to obviously uh cook easy and i was just doing my washing up and then uh i got dibbled well not dibbled but the ra a ranger arrived so he pulled up circled round the van so i said good morning he said, good morning uh you do realise you're not supposed to be here. So I said, well, I just kind of... Of course, the roof was up, wasn't it? So he said, um, uh, well, you need to move uh, quickly because uh, we're moving that uh, fridge freezer at the back. We said, well, I said, I do realise. I said, yeah, not a problem. Give me about 10, 15 minutes just to get cleared up and I'll move for you, not a problem. Uh, yeah, I said, well, I said, you're moving the fridge freezer? I said, well, that's been here about eight months. I said, all of a sudden you're moving it now? Yes. So can you move, please? And uh, it was okay, but kind of slightly frosty with me. And, you know, at the end of the day, these guys have got a job to do. And I can imagine that, you know, they get sick to death of people being disrespectful and leaving this shit about. So he doesn't know what I'm like or, or you know, so I moved. At the end of the day, they've got a job to do. So... I just moved up quickly, moved into the next bit of car park, fastened my roof down and away, and away I went. But it's um, been a great night, enjoyed it. Uh, but it just shows you, Peak District, we have to be careful. There is loads of spots, but I think the range is a little bit more out in force these days. So maybe Scotland is probably the way forwards or the Northumberland, so it's so, so quiet. But the peaks can get pretty busy. It, it can do, but... I'm an hour away from home, so that makes it so easy for me. So I know I've not done so much on this video. Um, really thinking about what I'm doing next year. So a few things planned in the pipeline. And uh, anyway, please do the usual. Thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. And uh, hit the bell icon for any future notifications. And I'll see you on the next one. All the very best to you. And I hope you have a great start to the new year. All the best. Bye-bye.